like we got something on that first bait. Second bait too. Five and a quarter is the size right now, so I think those guys are gonna be a little small. Not in many ways. I'll move the trot line over so it's close to the boat. And man, I can already tell there's a big difference. So much easier for me to net by myself now. There's a keeper. There's another one, a smaller one I let go by. Not too shabby to start with. Two definites, a few maybes. There's two more. Get that basket up for me. There we go. See a few dropping off deep. Nothing to be concerned about yet, though. Small, small, smalls. I'm still not convinced about netting the smalls. There's a female. Dropping off, dropping off. Tons of smalls. Tons and tons of smalls. There's a small. Here's a nice one. There's a good one. There's a keeper. Not as good as the last time I was out, I'll tell you that. It's still decent. You got three or four good ones. Not nearly as productive as that last time. There's a big old rusty guy. Yep, yep, yep. That's a nice one. There's another good one there. It's picking up a little bit. They say this is the best time of year to crab. This fall season is September 16th-ish right now. They say this fall season is some of the best crabbing. And I gotta agree, you can find some good, heavy, big crabs this time of year. They're fattening up for the winter. It does make a big difference. I will say I'm seeing a ton of females right now, too. And honestly, even if I could keep females, I wouldn't. They're way more important in the water than they are out of the water, in the pots. And like I said, recreational can't keep them anyway, so. It's kind of a moot point, I guess, right? But I'd say, I've seen at least 10, 15 females. A little male. Getting deeper right now. Halfway. Laid it out a little funny. I mean, it's definitely not a bad run. I will say that. It's definitely not a bad run. That's a nice crab. Here's a nice heavy one. We got about a dozen. Still getting used to the new trot line arm placement. I could tell right away this one's too light. That one's a keeper though. 
There we go. You guys can't see it, but I had to stop the boat there. <laughs> this is a comedy of errors running in this trot line right now. I don't know what it is. I gotta shake the rust off doing this. We're still netting them. I guess that just goes to show the trot line can be pretty forgiving. Now I'm gonna say, I'm almost at the end here, and I'm gonna run it again pretty quickly just because of how many other crabs are we're on here other than the, geez, these huge monsters. Than the keepers that I got. So I'll measure and run. And that's it. All right, so five and a quarter is our limit. I'll measure these guys up. You can see right here, I'm gonna toss this one back. See how I can pinch that shell in? It's too light to keep. I'm not gonna keep trash crabs today, we'll let them grow. So one. I'm gonna measure this one. He's got smaller points, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Two. Three. This is a good one. Four. Five. Better than I thought today. Much better than I thought that first run. Six, seven. This is another special one, but he just short. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, he's soft again. He's just a little bit light there. So we'll throw him back. So we're still at eleven. There's twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Look how big those points are. Seventeen and a throwback. So we got seventeen on that run. I was saying it was going to be a bad run, but I guess that wasn't that bad at all.